Welcome back. All right, so the Calgary Flames get it done. I'm wearing a Flames jersey because I really like what they got in this haul. So Matthew Kachuk is now a member of the Florida Panthers. Uh, he has signed an eight-year extension with the Panthers worth $9.5 million. I assume that was decided before the trade. And so, yeah, Kachuk's now a Panther, but you know, this was the thing. People kept saying, well, they lose Kachuk and Goudreau, the Flames are dead. As if they weren't going to get anything back for Kachuk. And I kept saying they have to at least get a top six forward back. And here you are. Jonathan Huberto is now a member of the Calgary Flames. That is huge. Huberto coming off of a fantastic season in Florida. And he's going to kind of, to me, he's going to replace Goudreau. That's how I see it. He's more of a Goudreau style player. So yeah, Huberto is now a member of the Flames. So that means for Florida fans who love the Hoobie Dooby Doo uh, scream after he gets a goal in Florida, that's gone. Now you got Kachuk. Mackenzie Weger also goes to Calgary. $3.25 is his cap hit. Hubert owes a $5.9 million cap hit. Uh, and prospect Cole Schwint, a number 81 pick in 2019, is now a member of the Calgary Flames. Uh, and they get a 2025 first round pick, although that's top 10 protected. So my guess is it slides to 2026 if it's a top 10 pick. But there you go. Matthew Kachuk is now a member of the Florida Panthers. I love what the Flames do here. Now there's risk. There's absolutely some risk here. Huberto's a UFA next year. So is Uyghur. They're probably going to sit down and work on an extension. Uh, work one out. And so, yeah, um, that's that's fantastic. Uh, for Flames fans, this should make you feel a little better. Breathe a little easier. The discussions of whether or not the Flames are going to fall off a cliff can stop. This is why I didn't buy into that in the first place. Because Kachuk's a restricted free agent. They had control over where he went and and some say in all of this now of course going to florida signing a 9.5 million dollar per year extension for eight years they do get rid of huberto and Uyghur, who are both due extensions next year but i have to wonder just how much of cap heck florida is going to find themselves in going forward uh because 9.5 million means barkov's underpaid a bit but anyways there's that but yeah, so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Again, I like what Calgary does here. They get a good top four defenseman and Uyghur is coming off a very good year as well. Uh, if it had been Huberto for Kachuk straight up, I I mean, I would favor Florida in that deal. But what they get here, four assets for, for Kachuk and one of them can step right in and produce at a very high rate. Uh, this, is, this is good. I think this is good for Calgary, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through, you just happened upon this video. And as it turns out, all of the discussions about the demise of the Calgary Flames might have been premature. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.